Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys, we got to talk about this Bath and Body Works limited edition candle collection. I was just in Macari and I noticed the five of them are selling for like $300. I actually don't think that they are worth that much, but um, they're good. I'm also going to review the chocolate espresso martini that I got yesterday. But first, I finally got out today for my walk. It stopped raining. I'm going to put a picture up. A lot of you have been asking about my husband. Oh my gosh. So if you're just joining in on the story here, my husband has um, a blood cancer called multiple myeloma and he has stem cell transplant in July. And there was so much going on with the stem cell transplant. He actually did really well. He didn't have a lot of the... Um, issues that some people have. Um, he was able to eat the entire time. His blood counts recovered quickly and he kind of got back to walking. He did lose his hair. Um, but I haven't mentioned it lately just because I feel like there was such a buildup to the stem cell transplant and now it's like over. We almost forgot he had like the multiple myeloma during the stem cell transplant because there was so much happening and now we're just in this weird holding pattern. He has to have a bone marrow biopsy in October um, to find out if it worked. We're crossing our fingers, uh, praying that it worked. Um, and then what it does is it'll throw you into like a remission until you relapse again. Um, and then they, they have a lot of drugs now um, that can help myeloma, but it's just it's just been a really wild roller coaster and um like I said, I feel like now it's almost like we don't know what to do because we're like in this weird holding pattern, but we're just like glad he's doing well for now, but you never know. I mean, it's like one of those things, they can get infections, they can get, um, you know, like colds and stuff. So he's kind of isolated, but we are able to walk. So um, that's the update. It's, it's nothing like too exciting. Um, you know, there's no, like, it's weird. When you go through this process, there's no like big finale, like, woohoo, you made it to the stem cell. It's kind of like, okay, what's next? So I don't know. Day to day is what we're doing on that. But I wanted to update everyone a little bit. But um, we're in good spirits. Like I said, he's he's walking every day, which is a good thing. <laughs> and he's uh, he's enjoying, um, he's got his time off from work right now. So he's working on his hobbies. So all good. So oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna talk about Bath and Body Works limited edition now. The first one I got in the collection was the candied maple bacon, which is crispy bacon, maple brown sugar, and smoked applewood. I liked it. Kind of reminds me of camping. It's like a bacony maple scent. Good throw. I thought this was a good one. I, I like the bacon candle. The next one I got, I haven't even reviewed yet. This is the Sweater Weather Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Mashup. It smells good on cold. It's actually um, juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove. Um, the eucalyptus does smell good with the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. I think this is actually a winner. I got to review this one. However, I really wanted to review the chocolate espresso martini. I got this one yesterday. I thought these were releasing like every week, but this one came out on Saturday and it was selling really good, probably because of the candle sale and everyone loves chocolate. So I've been burning this one for quite a while now. You can see the label is starting to change. Um, this one is coffee liqueur, espresso, a splash of vodka, and dark chocolate. Now, I'm not a big drinker or anything, but I didn't think vodka had any scent whatsoever. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know what's going on with that. You do get a nice liqueur scent in this. Oh, I am getting a really, really nice chocolate note in here, and it's throwing really, really well. So not hot cocoa and cream at all. It's not chocolate brownie swirl. It's not really any of the chocolates that I've smelled from Bath & Body Works before. Um, I think it's the, uh, the coffee liqueur and the espresso that's just really bringing out um, the set. You just kind of get a little mixture of both. But this one is a good candle. I would say this is so far uh, the best of the limited edition collection. I like the jar. 
I actually wished I picked up a second one of these just to have one around um, because it's really filling the house in a nice, warm, cozy way. It's not like edgy or sharp. The coffee's not bitter. It's just a really beautiful mix of like um, coffee, chocolate, and you get that little bit of like liqueur um, vibe going on. So it's good. I love it. So yay for this one. <laughs> Next up in the collection, we're getting Thanksgiving Celebration, which is mashed potatoes, gravy, and a sage stuffing. I have no idea what this one is going to be, but gosh darn it, I want it. I don't even know when it's coming out. Is it going to be next Wednesday? Someone let me know if they know when, the, when it's coming out because I want it. And then I'm seeing salted caramel pretzel. I'm like, why the heck would they put salted caramel pretzel in with these like fabulously odd candles. I'm like, vanilla candy cola would have been a better one to bring back even, but I feel like salted caramel pretzel is fairly ordinary in the mix. Um, we got the uh, salted pretzel milkshake. I'm like, is it gonna be like that? I don't know, they claim it's new, but I, I don't know, it just seemed like an odd choice for this like really unusual like bacon and chocolate martini and Thanksgiving, you know, maybe, I don't know, it's not even, salted caramel pretzel feels like a summer candle. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on with that, but that is going to be the fifth one. I'm assuming there could be more, because on the label, it says limited edition 2022, and then it says new and vault. So does this mean they're going to bring candles back from the vault? I don't know. I don't even know what any of this means. All I know are, no, all I know, <laughs> I can't even talk anymore. All I know is that um, chocolate espresso martini is a big win for me. I am loving this one. I'm going to throw it in the kitchen and uh, let it burn for a little while. But that is definitely a winner if you can still get your hands on it. I don't know. They seem to be like selling out or leaving because I'm not seeing the bacon or the sweater weather mash up anywhere in the store anymore. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>